All right, y'all, so we going like last video never happened and let's continue where we left off at. But before I do, make sure y'all boys go ahead to subscribe to my second channel and join my Discord server. And make sure y'all subscribe to the channel because your boy got to get that 50K before the end of this year. Like, bro, I'm fiending. I need it. Yeah, that brother's starving. Yes, sir, brother. <laughs> And yeah, with that being said, let's start this video. So we start off with Robert telling Luffy, I'm surprised you made it here and even by yourself. And Luffy is like, nigga, what is you talking about? Mm. Who said I made it here by myself? Mm. My friends helped me out. And even if I could make it here by myself, I wouldn't even want to. Mm. And he was telling Robert he wouldn't understand that because they only worry about they self. And blah, 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 y'all get it. And after that, it was making cuts for every single body. So first we start off with Chopper. And this man is just locked in, climbing the Tower of Law. And then next after that, we cut to Zoro and Sniper King. And Kaku, he throws a Tempest Kick at them. But that didn't work because my boy Zoro, he blocks that attack. Even though he nearly killed Sniper King, but we just gonna roll with it. Anyways, after that, Jabba, he tries to go for a follow-up. But Zoro's like, nah. And he tries attacking Jabba but he just weaves it after that Jabba he tries to attack and sniper king but Zoro he moves him out the way and bro I don't know what beef they got with this man sniper king is it because of his skin color I don't know bro but they keep going after my boy like leave my boy alone like give him a rest Zoro not even caring about this man he just swing him around everywhere after that we cut to Nami and Cauliflower and they wasn't really doing nothing but just yapping the whole time and next we cut to Frankie and he see this man Chopper climbing on the Tower of Law and this man was like hold on he's still in my whole flow because that's what he was planning on doing and then after that he just took off running and that's we cut to Sanji and the cameraman he zooms in on his hand and you know he just do a little a little wiggle a little little finger wiggle you know what I mean Shut your and then we cut to Robin and spun him and this man spun him he's over here just tweaking out like I'm talking about he's tweaking like I think he actually gone insane because the whole time this man thought he was speaking through a transponder snail and he clicked the golden button on the snail and then Robin she looked at this man hand and she was just in shock and she was like I hope you didn't click that button bro and then he looks at his hand and then he just started yelling like a bitch and after that we cut to where the marines is at and no boys is getting ready to go to to Andy's lobby with 10 battleships. Like, them boys is coming in deep. Pause. Anyways, we cut back to where Spawnum is at, and this man, he's talking through the transponder snail. And for some reason, he's so clumsy, he didn't know he had the speaker on. And this man was just saying all types of crazy stuff. Like, he didn't care if the Marines die. It's just a certain sacrifice that just had to be made. And I mean, this man, he was talking his shit. And after he realized he was on speaker saying all of those terrible things that everyone heard, this man really tried to lie and said it was Luffy that was speaking. Is this nigga serious? Y'all see how he tried to throw my boy under the bus just like that? That's crazy. But for once, the Marines were smart and they knew he was capping. Which is surprising, honestly. Because them motherfuckers is dumb. But on the other hand, Robin, she was putting everybody on game. She was telling them that they gotta leave the island because they gonna get mudded, bro. And after that spun him, he get pissed and he punches Robin. And hangs up. And then after that, the Marines and agents, them boys just started clearing it. Meanwhile, Polly and them over here are tied up. And Anyways, we cut back to Robert and Luffy. And Luffy was like, wait, if that's Robin was talking, then where is she? And Robert was like right behind these doors. And then he get a quick little zoom in. I don't know if he trying to raise up Luffy or not, but okay. And then after that, Luffy, he does this Aki ass spin kick, but Robert, he just blocks it. And while Luffy was still in the air, he does a little spin with it and punches bro in the stomach hella hard, making this Abraham Lincoln ass hat fall off. Like bro, get that dirty ass shit off my screen. Next after that, Luffy, he follows up with a kick, but Robert, he blocks it. Next after that, Robert, he punches Luffy in the face. And then next after that, he tries to follow up with a kick, but Luffy weaves it. And then after that, both Robert and Luffy does their iconic clash. And I'm not gonna lie this gonna always be clean and next after that they both sent each other flying nothing too crazy just something a little light you feel me and then after that they both gets up and luffy was telling bro to get out his way because right now luffy mind is not even focused on fighting robert no more this man is trying to grab robert and get up out of here before the buster call but of course robert being the hater he is he's not gonna let that happen like this man over here smiling and shit like bro did i tell a joke like i didn't tell you to smile don't worry luffy official 
fix that for you. So with that being said, this man Luffy started cracking his knuckles, scratching and all that. Y'all know how I said Luffy would change that? I wasn't lying because this man Luffy immediately jumped towards him and he grabs this man and he tosses this man into boxes. Had this man looking like fucking trash. And bro, you thought you would slip? What the fuck is this? Nah, Luffy got this man scared. That's crazy. But anyways, like I said, Luffy wasn't even worried about him. So he just started sprinting towards the door while Robert, he over here dusting himself off like, yeah, he did me dirty. And while Luffy wasn't paying attention, he get a free kick off to the face, sending Luffy flying. And wait, I seen this kick before. Isn't that the same kick Luffy used when he kicked down the door? You're not slick. Mans want to be Luffy so bad, y'all. And after he was done with that, this man, he still Is Goku whole flow. I'm sorry, but I'm not letting you get away with this. After that, Luffy, he throws a whole box at this man. And bro just give it a side eye. Like, who do bro think he is? But wait, I want y'all to peep game. This man thought he was going to stop the flying box with one hand. But my boy Luffy was like, nah. And he started breaking through the box. And this man over here looking shook. But anyways, Luffy, he throws his gum gum no, gauntlet. No, no. While this man, Robert, acting like he activated Ultra Instinct. This thing is trash. With hey, the eyes closed and all, oh, like, bro. It. But anyways, next after that, Robert, he tries to throw a punch at Luffy, but Luffy, he blocks it with his leg. And then Luffy tries to throw a punch at him, but Robert blocks it. And then Robert throws a couple of kicks at Luffy, but Luffy blocks that. And then he goes for another kick, but Luffy blocks that one too. And then after that, they do this clean ass shit right here, I ain't gonna lie. And then they both goes for a fist bumps like they bros and shit. After that, Robert tries to hit Luffy, but Luffy knocks his hand out the way. After that, Luffy, he goes for the kick and Robert, he weaves it with the eyes closed, feeling like he all smooth and shit. After that, Luffy, he follows up with a back kick, but Luffy, he just stops it. Next, after that, Robert, he hits Luffy in the throat, and then he hits him in the chin. I'm not gonna lie, this shot is kind of crazy. But anyways, next after that, they just started throwing hands back and forth. And then Luffy tries to go for a kick, but Robert, he just weaves it. And then this man, Robert, does a party table kick course like he's Sanji. Bro is not slick. But anyways, after he does that, he kicks Luffy in the air. And then after that, Luffy, he just falls down. Eventually, after that, Luffy, he gets up and he goes for his gum gum bazooka. And then they both just clash. Eventually, after that, we cut back to Nami and Khalifa. And Khalifa stuck all these bubbles everywhere. Like, she need to clean that shit up. Khalifa, she hides her presence so Nami cannot see her. And then she pulls up behind Nami. And she started just grabbing her in these weird ass ways. And she was rubbing her breasts, everything. And she was just going crazy <laughs> And bro afterwards she looked it like this I'm not gonna lie bro I would have been pissed And you know what makes this worse Because when you try to walk you just end up just slipping But anyways after that Nami she uses her cool charge And Caulifla she over here thought Nami was just playing around So Caulifla she goes for her tempest kick And it turns out she end up hitting Nami Mirage And that had her looking stupid She was like bro what the hell just happened Meanwhile my girl Nami over here trolling Talking about something I'm over here by the way And Caulifla she tries to hit her again but she end up hitting another one of her mirages and after that she just kept trying again and again and again and again but they all was just fakes and nami had her just looking goofy and then out of nowhere this man chopper he just came and burst through the wall looking like a damn demon and this girl Khalifa thought that nami was chopper bro and nami was like bro is she serious right now anyways we cut to sniper keen and zoro and bro we got these two big ass zoo animals running towards them and kako he used his temper while this man Jabba used his finger pistol but I never knew it came as a slash too like bro what I thought it was just like a regular hit but anyways that was light work for my boy Sniper King and he deflects both of those so they tried to do that same attack again but my boy Sniper King he was ready but since Zoro was hating he just moved him out the way oh, I forgot to tell y'all Zoro named their sword No Storm and I can't cap that's a W name but anyways the reason why I'm telling y'all this is because this man Zoro was like wait we have them shook bro this man Zoro was like they fear the wrath of the nose storm and that literally made this man sniper king so hype bro anyways after that this man zoro is so fucking ruthless he used this man sniper king as bait and they really fell for it too and they started running trying to kill this man sniper king but my boy zoro was like nah and he throws a bunch of slashes with one swing bro like i ain't gonna lie that's kind of crazy but they end up moving out the way and after that this man sniper king he started crying because this man really was using them 
dumb ass bait. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. Me personally, I feel sorry, Key, because I would have been crying too, bro. Like two big ass animals trying to kill you. Hell no, nah, bro. What the fuck? But anyways, we cut back to Nami and them. And then eventually Nami, she ended up peeping that that big monster is actually Chopper. Meanwhile, Kali feels still over here thinking that that's actually Nami. And then Chopper tries punching her, but she just dodges it. And then she scrapes his face with a tempest kick. But Nami was like, hey, yo, bro, chill out with all of that. And then after that, she tried talking some sense to Chopper. But Chopper, he did not care about that. And he nearly crushed her. And then eventually after that, this man Chopper, he picks up this whole bathtub. And then he just yeets that hoe out the room. Sending that bed crashing down onto this man Sanji. I'm sorry, bro. Why she had to do my boy Sanji like this? Like his head is long as hell. But anyways, after that, Chopper, he tries smashing him. But they move out the way. And I'm not gonna lie, this man Chopper wasn't looking so good. But I guess it didn't really matter because this man, he just started climbing through the room, just breaking everything up. And he just ended up falling down. This man Chopper don't care. Anyways, after all of that, Kali Flo was like she running out of time and all of that and she gotta kill Nami quick. So she throws another Tempest kick and I'm not gonna lie, her and Kaku just be spamming the hell out of that move, bro. Like, bro, get a bigger bag. But anyways, as Nami was trying to move away from her attack, she was over here moving like a cartoon character. But at the same time, she still ended up dodging it. And then after that, she looked down and she peeped that one of her foot is back to normal. And she peeped that it was wet due to Chopper throwing the tub if you think about it chopper actually helped her so she seen a bunch of water right there and she was like all i gotta do is just wipe all the soap off with water and she started running towards it but kali felt she was like hell no and she kicks her sending her flying had my girl looking stiff after that kali felt she uses her bubble power started throwing bubbles at nami and i'm not gonna lie so we did nami dirty Bro, look how they had her with this long ass neck. And look at her when she talks. Like, why her mouth moving like that? Bro, Toei, y'all messed up for that one. But anyways, Nami, she tries to blow the wind away. But she end up dropping her weapon because it's too slippery. And then in the process, she end up getting hit by the bubbles. Causing her to lose her strength for like the third time. Meanwhile, Cauliflower, she started running towards her and uses some type of zigzag finger pistol. Like, nobody gonna tell the difference. That's still the same move, bro. You're not slick. But anyways, with that, she used that and she sent Nami flying again. But guess what? She couldn't pierce a hole through Nami because she's still made out of soap right now. So Nami was still good. With that being said, Nami, she gets up and Nami started to make these skinny ass rain clouds. Meanwhile, Cauliflower, she thought that she was making thunder clouds again. But then eventually she realized that it was rain clouds too late. And then she tried attacking Nami, but Nami blocks her attack. And on top of that, she ended up becoming back normal again. Then after that, Nami was like, you know what? Let me put a little cool breeze into the room. And she uses her Mirage Tempo and she just completely vanished. Had Kali Flo looking all stupid. And after that, Nami was basically telling her that she know all her strength and her weaknesses. And then after that, Nami, she pulls out four goofy Mirages of her. Because of course, one of them is actually her. And bro, just look at this. When I first seen this, I was like, bro, what? Nami out here going crazy like this? But at the same time, I was like, bro, these Mirages look goofy as hell. Because, bro, we got obese Nami right here. We got tall, linky Nami right here. And then we got little kid Nami right here. And then look at this. We got big, cocky Nami. But anyways, Nami was really out here using her big girl brain. Because she uses her thunder charge with all of her Mirages. And of course, they all are fake. So when she starts throwing all of these lightning balls at her balls and this legit is an example of they won't know what hit them because as they started throwing these electric balls at her pause again she didn't know which one was real until she actually got cooked bro she has smoke coming out her mouth and then after that she drops down on her knees she looks up at nami mad as hell while all of the nami's just standing there looking tough i'm not gonna lie they did this one dirty though her whole body not even in the frame but it's all good though anyways nami she was like yeah Yo, you felt that that bitch thing huh and she was telling cauliflower the next attack gonna take her out and cauliflower she was like that's a bold promise and nami don't hear her with a oh it's not a promise it's a forecast and she was telling cauliflower that the weather in this room is under her control and then they don't pulled out the mini thunder clouds but cauliflower she didn't care about none of that and she tries hitting nami from the back pause but it turns out that wasn't even a real nami meanwhile mini nami was like me personally 
I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. And Carly Flo, she get pissed and she tries hitting Nami again. And Nami was over here looking at her like, this nigga is crazy. And nope. it turns out that was another fake. And then after that, she kicks nope. another fake. And it turns out that the real Nami is the chubby obese one. Guys. We been lied to our whole life. Nah, I'm playing. But yeah, she end up turning back to normal. And then she end up creating some more mirages. And Kali, for she was telling her, did you forget I can just block myself with soap? And Nami was like, even though it was good for blocking, she can't move at all while she using it. Which Nami should have just kept quiet and just let her use that bit. And the reason why I said that, because now she was like, fuck it. And then she turned to her soap sheep thing again. And she created a big tidal wave of soap. And the reason why she was doing this because she knows she can flood the room with that then it's gonna eventually catch nami so with that being said nami she was like i'm not gonna let that happen and she uses her cyclone tempo knocking all them bubbles back but in the process her mirages still end up getting caught by the bubbles after cauliflower knew who the real nami was she completely vanished after everything settled down she jump scared nami and she uses her favorite move that she loved using all the time and finger pistol nami on the shoulder causing nami to drop down to her knees and then after that she started talking crap to nami and nami was like oh yeah and then we see this little light in the cloud that begins to grow and at this point college for she knew she was cooked because nami legit cooked her bro like she shocked the hell out of her and she was just looking all tough, I ain't gonna lie. Meanwhile, Carly fell over here with all this smoke coming out her mouth. Yeah, it's over, she's done. And then after that, we cut to this man Luffy getting kicked to boxes again. And this man Robert, he looks up like, really nigga? And then he started dusting himself off like he really did something. But he didn't because my boy Luffy was still on go. And then he screenshot himself towards Robert. And then after that, he started throwing his gum gum guideline at him. But I'm not gonna lie, Robert, he was weaving it and he was having a good time because look at this man he over here smiling yeah, this man out here just trying my boy luffy like his light work and then after that they go for the iconic clash again because they know they had to run it back and then robert he was like all right bro i'm tired of that shit and then he kicks luffy sending him flying but this man luffy he bounced right back and as he getting ready to go for his punch this man robert i'm not gonna lie he was clean with it this man was waiting for luffy to punch and he lift his hand up and blocks luffy punch with ease but luffy wasn't done he tries kicking him but he blocks it and then after that luffy he just started throwing a barrage of punches at him and this man robert must be thought he was in a matrix because look how he was blocking all of his attacks while this man looking at luffy like i seen better in my days but his face changed after he seen this man luffy pulled the goku on him and tries biting him and crazy enough he actually got a scrape off him and then after that this man robert he kicks luffy in the face and he must be damn like that luffy threw him in the boxes earlier because this man grabs luffy and he throws him to the boxes bro was like i'm not letting that slide but of course that's not gonna stop my boy luffy so my goat started running full speed ahead towards him and then he hops up in the air and started throwing hella kicks at him but robert he was blocking all of that but luffy wasn't trying to give up so he tries to throw another he, kick but robert he dodges it and then he gives him a kick of his own and send him flying and at this point it looked like he was just trying to go band for band with luffy but luffy didn't care about none of that because he tried using that kick momentum to his advantage and he tried reaching out to the door because he's trying to save robin he don't care about this fight for real but this man robert was looking at him like yeah you're not going nowhere buddy and then he pulls up towards luffy and kicks this man following up with a punch to the stomach and it sends him flying but of course luffy he gets back up and at this point i'm like luffy bro forget about robin for a little bit and just fade this man robert because he's not gonna let you go nowhere but anyways eventually after that we cut back to nami and frankie end up making it there as well and then they started yapping and eventually they end up making a plan how they gonna stop this man chopper for wreaking havoc everywhere like this man need to be stopped next after that we cut back to zoro and sniper king and this man kako he just started attacking him and this man was making all of this damn win to the point that this man sniper king end up dropping a sword and then immediately after he dropped his sword this man Jabba he goes for a finger pistol but they move out the way and then after that Kaku he tries to go for one but Zoro he blocks it and then after that Zoro was like bro they serious now don't drop the sword and then they both pulled up behind Zoro and them and then Jabba he tries to go for another finger pistol but they hop out the way and then Kaku he tries to go for another one as well but they move out the way as well and then eventually Chopper he pulls up and at first they were scared because they was like bro 
well, who is this? Because they ain't know they thought it was just another monster. And then they end up peeping that this is Chopper. But Chopper, he was trying to attack them. And after that, Kaku and Jabra, they was like, bro, we finna just take this man out. But Zoro, he was like, nah, you ain't about to do nothing. And then he launched an attack at them. While he had my boy Sniper King looking like he using a Toon Force. But anyways, after that, they end up moving out the way. And this man Kaku, he was pissed. And that's when this man Frankie, he pulls up with his air blicky. And he ends up shooting this man Chopper, sending him flying all the way out of the building. Knocking him all the way back in the sea so he could go back to his normal form. Sniper King, he wasn't really messing with that because he didn't know about the plan. But Nami was like, don't worry about that. We got that covered, bro. But anyways, after the dust settled, they finally got free from their handcuffs cuffs and i'm not gonna lie they was looking tough like especially my boy zoro like he looked like he was ready to kill bro now let me fix that he was ready to kill and yeah the episode ends there and i'm not gonna lie bro this one was kind of a little crazy but like i always say hopefully y'all boys enjoy another one of my videos and make sure y'all boys subscribe to the channel because y'all know the goal is 50k and not only that sub to the second channel join the discord server and hey even follow my instagram if you want to and most likely, I'll see y'all next week. Peace.